Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, if you rock with me, got my six. Me and I have my back because guess what? I have yours. So that is where we are when it comes to the energy that we got going on. I am going to pull from the Intuit Tarot deck to see what we're going to talk about. Queen of Swords, mentally strong. Um, it's kind of um, coming out a little bit unsure. So it says mentally unstrong, uh, excuse me, mentally strong and devoid, a uh, devoid of emotion. So you're in the process of trying to figure out if, you know, this is an emotional based energy or if you are strong enough to deal with this. And the three of coins comes with a loss of, um, hold on, I can't see motivation. Is that, I think it's motivation. Yeah, a loss of motivation. So not learning from past mistakes, uh, lack of interest, third party friction, un, uh, uncommitted. It says doing it alone. You're tired of ment being mentally strong. It makes sense. And um, you're also a very emotional when it comes to feeling this kind of way. So the calculating uh, energies, the gossip, the scattered energies, you know, uh, um, things easily influenced, you know, clouded vision. So you're tired of trying to be everything to everyone. And it's just like the motivation is gone and you're trying to look at things in regards to the subconscious, the blocked emotions, misconceptions, deceptions, and um, instability and also anxiety in regards to this. And it's a balancing act for you. And so therefore, when it comes to the lack of foresight and the restrictions and things in regards to uh, everything kind of post being postponed or you thinking small or lack of progress you're looking at everything and trying not to be negative about it or feel like a fool but um, it says here only fools rush in so you don't want to rush into any um, type of situations anymore you know it's like so you're holding back your energy you feel reckless you feel restless you feel foolish but you also feel impulsive because of the lack of faith that you have within yourself before you were able to make decisions when it came to growth but now here it is you have to look at things from a different perspective the four coins energy is you pulling your energy back because of un uh, an uncluttered life uh you're minimizing the things that you do less is more you are you're reevaluating all your priorities and releasing all the materialistic or the things and the people who have been materialistic and this is a part of the growth the sun energy that you had to go through when it came to the radiant energy of you know where you are right now so living in the present moment if you ask me three of cups energy king of cups and ace of cups oh wow um this is you know overflow in love overflowing in love this is like you learning to love yourself to um understand and um having a flow of emotions when it comes to the um um third party energies the love triangles um the time alone that you spent you know all of these different things is someone else's influences of why you feel this way and now you're starting to really be emotionally secure with yourself or you could have been emotionally immature when it came to you actually you know um how do you say you actually um focused on someone else or uh, somebody manipulating you, you're at this point to where, you know, you're focused on your feelings, your inner feelings, how you feel. You're withdrawing from people, places, and situations that make you feel like you don't have that confidence in yourself. And so when it comes to the bottom of the deck, the seven of coins, seven years it took for you to get to this point to where you're just realizing what your subconscious is doing. It's, you know, your intuition being blocked, you know, the uncertainty that you feel when before you were able to make head over heart decisions and heart over head decisions. Now you feel like a fool until you realize that the lessons that these people and the lack of foresight that you uh, had in the past and the um, um, thinking small, it's like, uh, remember the guy say, you, you, you think it's small, you need to be thinking big, you know, he, that, that is where you are now. You're thinking big about 
what you went through and that's the growth that you had to go through in regards to why you held back for so long and again it took seven years for you to just really be able to step out and to love the life that you have created for yourself or to love the the lessons that you had to learn in order to get to where you are because it was manip you know people were manipulating you it was causing you to withdraw from certain situations and that is where you're just like nope I'm not doing this anymore okay so yeah it's just the whole thing of learning and also understanding what the difference is from the past lessons not mistakes and how you react to third party energies how you react to what it is that it's putting you to a test you know it feeling like you either um you know you have to recognize your strengths or understand that you have to speak and balance yourself especially when it comes to things um uh like that are restricting you or causing you to um be stagnant in hangman energy if that makes sense and so when it comes to emotional immaturity that's the type of people that cause you to withdraw and they manipulate your energy and they make you feel like um you know your your feelings are all over the place if that makes sense and so when it comes to you minimizing yourself or pulling your energy back you release you know the things when it comes to um the materialistic or somebody thinking that that's all about what your life is about and you re you reevaluate your life and your priorities and then so you start putting things um, you're putting yourself first and it says good things take time you don't rush anything else anymore you look at everything for what it is you're not going to hold back your feelings your energy and that's a part of the queen of swords the queen of swords what i learned when i first started learning tarot it says when face excuse me uh, stand up for yourself always speak your mind don't take shit from anyone you're not going to take shit from anyone you're going to evaluate you're going to make head over heart decisions moving forward and that's because you had to pull your energy back based upon having the lack of foresight and the type of energies that deplete you and not complete you if that makes sense so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to pull from um what is this deck i was looking for i guess i'm not looking for it um i was gonna pull from the actual self deck and no i'm really not looking for it um i'm just trying to see if I can glance but you're evolving so this is this card deck is yes chariot energy your energy the cozy witch it says you'll never get away uh, anywhere if you keep standing still so you're going to move forward uh, you're going to move forward the lover's energy and the six of cups and the nine of swords energy is here so again the anxiety stagnation right you have to move forward and um, the tur excuse me, the snail is on the ground. So the snail is probably going faster than you are if you keep making hard overhead decisions or if you keep overthinking the situation of things that cause you anxiety and sadness. It says, Will you or won't you? The choice is yours. You have to make the decision in regards to things that make you happy. The lover's energy is doing things. Hold on, what is that? What is the lover's energy? Let me say what the quote is. I'm gonna look it up. Hold on. It is doing what makes your heart happy I remembered it as doing what makes your heart happy but it also um, could be um, the type of energy that you're dealing with um, when it comes to will you or won't you the stagnation period or you know not knowing what to do from here the things that cause you anxiety the six of cups is um, you know given to others wholeheartedly but that's the six of pentacles but the six of cups energy is like the nostalgia the memories the blessings the things like that it says give yourself the compassion you were give you were never given so this is childhood memories nostalgia things like that but the nine of swords says uh we all get a bit carried away with our worries and sometimes uh worries sometimes and so again you over over um think situations and judgment and you're having a realization that this is causing stagnation this is causing you to understand good things take time and not to rush things and it's to be patient with the certain head over heart decisions and not make heart over head decisions and it is the same permanent decisions based on temporary emotions you cannot make permanent decisions on a temporary emotion and so when you actually put everything together and balance it out the growth comes from you um uh what is it holding back and being reckless uh at the same time so you were reckless before you were very impulsive and now here it is 
the lack of faith and you feeling foolish and the restlessness that you went through um, is causing you to understand that, um, what does it say? Only fools rush in. So you're not going to rush again. Good things take time. You're not rushing into anything. And that's the growth that you had to learn when it comes to this situation and why you had to pull back your energy for, uh, of coins energy and actually reevaluate everything. And so that's the judgment. All the signs say that you're exactly where you're supposed to be and not rushing again. You'll never get anywhere. If you keep standing still, you're taking things, uh, day by day, moment by moment, moment, minute by minute. You're not worried about the past because again, with the six of cups, give yourself compassion. You were never given, you know, the past has caused you to feel a lack of compassion and a lack of, and also stagnation and also doubt. And so the past causes fear and the future causes anxiety. So that is where you are when it comes to this anxiety energy. Um, it says we all get a bit carried away with our worries sometimes. And so the growth comes with that. You understanding that it's uh, shoulda, woulda, coulda, but didn't. Or, you know, why worry? It'll probably never happen. And that's in the game of life and how to play it, if that makes sense. And so that is a good thing. The judgment energy, having a realization that, you are where you need to be, and that's just that. I'm going to pull, okay, all of my cards came down. I was going to pull from, this is like 21 cards of my emotions, and all of the cards came out. Yes, I'm using my foot, if you can see. All of the cards. Came out, sorry. All of the cards came out. This is happens when it comes to love, and these are the emotions that keep me stagnant, keep me going. Uh, prayers, family, uh, completion, manipulation, yeah, strength, uh, sorrow, feeling sorry for yourself, fear, um, a journey you have to take, uh, being a protector, um, and also, yeah, guiding and being a guardian over people who don't really, um, it says under the influence, who, you know, um, are influenced by others, but you have to, yeah, you have to look at the insecurities and encourage yourself uh, to move forward. And only time will tell where you'll be. But when it comes to this relationship and having a rebirth, the phoenix, there she is, right? Excuse me, having a rebirth and also going after your dreams and also building a foundation. It's stressful to build a foundation. And that's the reason why when it comes to relationships, you want to have your cake and eat it too. But you want to be patient and you have to. Uh, understand that timing again timing is of the essence but when it comes to what's at the bottom of the deck you having to distance yourself because you realize that you know good things take time so if somebody has to leave your life in order for them to realize uh, that they're causing you all of these different emotions then you have to do that and you have to trust in divine and also the opposite moon energy is having mental clarity releasing fear and anxiety hearing and trusting intuition and um, unveil things will be unveiled as soon as you get out of this mental funk and that is the subconscious being blocked your block intuition the uncertainty that the dreams the anxieties right because dreams are here when it comes to this foundation card could be two things it could be what it is that you build in a, a foundation, but it can also be the anxiety that you go through and the fear that you go through when it comes to having to have a rebirth and to rebuild. And so that is why this is uh, here present. So rebuilding causes anxiety, especially when it comes to, you know, love and when it comes to relationships and when it comes to you recognizing your strength and being around people who manipulate you. And that's the same thing when it comes to, um, it was a card here that said manipulation, and I can't, I don't know where it's at, but that's when it comes to dealing with people that, is it here? No, it's not here. But that's when it comes to people that, you know, make you have to block your intuition, and then blockages cause stagnation and fear, and so, and um, anxiety of the what ifs and what happens in the past. So that's kind of how I see that, if that makes sense. Now we're going to go ahead, because that was a really good read, we're going to pull from the four agreements. If you want to know my interpretation of the four agreements, you can uh, click up here and also the crystal deck, which focuses on the chakras. Don't make assumptions. Don't assume anything. Don't assume anything and don't see potential. Learn to ask questions. Ask questions on what somebody wants out of life. Ask questions on what you and, and, and say what it is that you want out of life, out of relationships, out of the timing, um, out of what you see your dreams, out of what 
you know, where your strengths are, what you want when it comes to foundations, your insecurities, the guardians, you guarding and protecting people. I understand that, but especially when it comes to love and you know, um, completion. And so completions are endings, right? And so, and when it comes to family, so some things, you know, um, and I keep explaining to you guys, because every time I talk about setting boundaries, I think about back to Christian Gray um, and Anastasia Steele, um, Fifty Shades of Gray, when they're in the office and in the office, they, you know, she's like, I want to discuss the, the contract. And she's like, hard no. And he's like, okay, doable. And then she's like, hard, okay, yes, I'm fine with this. And this is a hard no. She's setting boundaries, whether it seems crazy or not. Everybody's relationship isn't perfect. And whatever you decide to um, to deal with is between you. And that's behind closed doors. And you don't have to share that with anybody. But when it starts to be the foundations and the boundaries are starting to break, then that's when you have to distance yourself from certain places, uh, people and situations. And this is when they start to really realize that what you brought to the table, if that makes sense. And you know, that's just how you have to see it. So it says, again, don't make assumptions, learn to ask questions. It is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you are as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answers to a question, you won't have to make any assumptions. My son is talking in the, other, uh, in the hallway. Once it says once you hear um, the answers to a question, you won't have to make assumptions because you will know the truth. And so that is don't make assumptions. Don't look at the potential. Say what you want out of every situation and move forward. Now I'm going to pull from the crystal deck. And then again, if you want to get my interpretation, I'll put the link above. Um, yeah. So again, the crystal deck, those cards, red jasper and the chair, chair, chariote. I think I'm saying that right. But anyway, red jasper. It says the root and the sacral chakra, grounding, stabilizing, and nurturing. You have to understand and know what it is that you're nurturing and why you have to ground yourself when it comes to certain situations. So, um, yeah, nurturing. So you have to understand the way that you nurture a situation um, and go from there. But also the red jasper says, I am open to all that is around me and all that is within me. I am open to all that is around me and and that which is, wait a minute, let me say it right. I am open to all that is around me and all that is within me. And so the chariot, chariot, sounds like a chariot, but is the third eye in the crown chakra, transformation, acceptance, and insight. Transformations, and acceptance, and insight. It says, I see clearly so that I may become my true self. And that is why you are learning to ask questions. You are not letting anything block you. You're not going to have a lack of foresight because you're going to say what it is that you want. And you're going to understand where all of your emotions are when it comes to having mental clarity and also devoiding of devoid of emotions, which is critical, calculating, abrupt gossip, scattered, easily influenced, clouded vision. And clouded vision goes back to, um, oh, subconscious, the moon energy blocked intuition so again you're going to be mentally strong candid quick-witted fair inner strengths direct chatty realistic quirky and sharp you're going to make head, heart of, head over heart decisions and not heart over head decisions and that also means not making permanent decisions on temporary emotions if that makes sense so let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or situation i love you guys